Hey, how you doing? This is Ruben here. Listen, uh, what I'm working on right now is a t-shirt that's going to San Pedro, California, uh, for Peck Park Baseball, the Pirates. What I did first is I used a stencil, a um, cutout stencil at a pelon for my skull and my bats and also the letters for the yeah. letters. What I'm going to do is fill everything in and I'll try to talk my way through it. Uh, I really don't do this, I just normally paint. But um, you see how this turns out. The reason for using the stencil is to have a guideline for whatever I'm gonna do. Um, when I do multiple designs, I would have them doing all the same size, the same print, the same design all together. Well, they look uniform, but not one bigger than the other. Only thing uh, that differs is the, the method I use of uh, shadowing and shading in the, the characters. What I'm doing right now is just following the line, basically, and then just adding my own little touch to it and uh, making a shadow for this, uh, this skull ball. It's going to be a skull ball with the cross pads. Of course it says pirate so it's going to have a, an eye patch. Trying to make the cheekbones round off a little bit. Back grip. The only thing I'm going to color in basically will be the, the skull and then the bats. Everything else is going to stay uh, black and white with a little bit of gold around it. Now I'll go with the light brown. Give it an overall touch of brown to soften up the skull here. Um, I'm going to add in the wood grain that uh, you would see in some bats, more, more or less cartoonish in a sense, but not too cartoonish, but not very realistic. Hope that made sense. Give it the shadow, I round off oh, around the shadow. Same here. Skull is going to be a an actual baseball. So what I'm going to do is uh, create where the threads of the ball are going to be at. Yeah. 
grit. Give her an overall brush. And then uh, just add into threads on the ball. To simulate it's a baseball. and color to the bat. Now I'm going to do highlights. And I kind of look for a light source for where it's going to be able to it's, it's all up front. It's all. So it, uh, wherever I put the highlights there, you'll, you'll see them. What I'm doing is the eye patch, kind of giving it a two piece eye patch where it's sewn in the middle. I'm giving that P for San Pedro for Pirates. Giving it a really light highlight, not too heavy, where it takes away from the, the artwork. Remember again, my light source is directly in front of me, so I'm not going to only use one side of, the, of a shadow, or I'm going to use everything in the middle. So my light's hitting right direct center, so <clears throat> that's where I'm using my light source to be at in the very front. It's very important when you're doing that to, to know exactly where your light source is so your artwork don't look off. After a while, they look good. Before you put the uh, your highlights on, once you start messing around with your light source or where your highlights are going to be at, It'll tweak out your artwork. You won't look like it's supposed to have it. That would be my finished product right there. I'm going to bring you closer to it <clears throat> so you can see what I'm talking about. There's the eye patch. The threads of the baseball look there. The bats. You see where my highlights go. Yeah, Peck Park Pirates 2010. All right, Primo, um, I hope you like it, man, and I, I hope that your parents and your friends and everybody that's buying these shirts like them, too. Thank you, brother. God bless you.